All right. Thank you. This is what superposition would do. So now, what I what I would do for this problem, I would say the delta L of section AC plus the delta L of section BC adds up to 0.2, right? You know, one of them might stretch a little bit, one of them might stretch or compress, but they're able to stretch the total delta L of AC plus BC adds up to 0.2. So that's how, would have, how, how I would do it. But if you want another way to think about this or another way or maybe a way to double check your answer, what superposition would do would tell you to forget about that wall and just figure out how far it wants to go past the wall. So I would throw away the wall and with that 20 kilonewton force, I would calculate, okay, the delta L, it wants to, if there was no wall, it would stretch 0.5 millimeters. And so then you say, okay, well, I need a force at the wall that would compress it 0.3, right? So you would remove the wall, you would calculate how far past the wall it wants to expand, and then you would tell yourself, okay, what force does the wall give it? The wall really kind of compresses it by 0.3. But if it, I calculated it wanted to go 0.5, but I know the wall needs to compress it 0.3. So anyway, that's superposition. It's a way to think about this problem and not very many other types of problems. And the math would be a little bit easier for superposition. Um, but the way I would do it, I would do statics, and then I would do compatibility. Delta L of AC plus delta L of BC adds up to 0.2. All right, I'll send you that uh, one uh, for your notes.